What's up guys, Jason here. Welcome to episode 8 of Multiplayer Minecraft Survival. In this episode, I'm back here with my friend Mackenzie. Hey guys! We're going to be making an automatic bone meal farm. To get this episode started, we're going to explore the world while also trying to find some kelp. We are going to need to have kelp to make this bone meal farm. Check this out guys, we found some cool structures over here. Let's see, can we get any good loot? Ooh, nice, there's a little treasure map in here. Ooh, nice! Anything, let me dig around a bit. Oop, a chest. Ooh, Ooh enchanted there? fishing rod, not too bad. Ooh, look at this, guys. We found some more cool stuff. Let's see. Anything in here? Oop, another chest. Ooh. Ah, oh, nothing good. Oh, come on. Ooh, look, this jungle. I think we've been here before, but haven't been here in a while. Yeah, I know. We haven't been to jungle in forever. This is cool. You know what? While I'm here, I'm going to get some melons as well. These can be useful for trading with villagers. Alright guys, I'm going to go down. Let's see, can I get into a cave? Oh, I see it. It's over here. Will I turn down? Ooh, this is so scary. Alright, took some damage, Ooh. but I think I'm okay. Alright, McKenzie, do you have any night vision for me? Yeah, I got some night vision. Here you go. Nice. Wow, I can see so much more clearly now. Oh, look at that. So much dripstone. This is yeah, crazy. So many mobs too. Oh, look, I found some diamonds. Diamonds? You found diamonds already? That's yeah. crazy. Ooh, nice. Any more? Um, I don't know. I want to check to see if there's any over here. Ooh, look, he even goes further down down here. While we're down here, we should get some dripstone. We might want to make a dripstone okay. farm eventually. Whoa, check this out guys over here. Found a little Whoa. spider spawner. Ooh, let's see. Anything in these chests? Alright, disable the spawner by placing torches around it. Nice. Ooh. Enchanted okay. book. That's awesome. Hey. Oh, look over here, guys. I think I found an amethyst geode. Wow, that's awesome. Whoa. Looks like we don't really need stuff in there, but that was cool to see. Alright guys, we're now going to head back up to the surface. Ooh, look at this guys. I think this looks really cool. Let's go check it out. See if we can find anything good over here. Oh wow, look at that. Bunch of spikes. What will it look like if you blow up some of these giant spikes? Oh, Ooh, Phantom? Cool. Why Phantom. are there so many of these things? Alright. Oh, that actually looks kind of cool. I think these blocks would be cool to build with. Oop, zombie. Ooh, creeper exploded. Check this out, guys. I found a bunch of kelp over here. All right, let me get some. Then we're going to head all the way back over to my base. All right, guys. McKenzie and I went back to our base and gathered all the materials that we need to make the farm. We're going to make the bone meal farm over here. To get this farm started, I'm going to create a redstone clock and CC piston system. Here we go. I'm making the redstone clock right now. All right. Looking good. Now I'm going to create the sticky piston system. Here we go. I'm now going to make the back wrestling system. All right, now I'm going to place a stand. That stand will update the kelp so that it grows instantly. The kelp will be used to make bone meal. I am now going to create the top piston system. These pistons will automatically harvest all the kelp. I am going to put some blocks over here. I am going to put some slabs. Alright guys, now that I have placed all those slabs, I am going to place the trapdoors. 
Now I'm going to place the glass blocks. Here we go. Now I've done that, I'm going to create the composting system. Alright, looking good. Those hoppers are flowing towards our chest. Alright guys, now I'm going to add the composters. Those composters will turn all the kelp into bone meal. Now I'm going to add the hoppers. All these hoppers are flowing towards the composters. Those hoppers will funnel the kelp into the composters. If you guys choose to make this farm, make sure you crouch down when you place the hoppers. Now I'm going to add the glass panes. Now I'm going to add the ladders. Alright Mackenzie, help me place water in each of these slabs. Okay. Alright guys, now that Mackenzie and I have finished placing all the water, I'm going to place kelp on top of each of these sand blocks. Now that I've placed all that kelp, I'm going to place a sign at each of these spots. These signs will help ensure the water flows correctly. Now that I'm done placing all the signs, I'm going to create a redstone clock up here. I'm going to place down a redstone repeater over here and click it one time. Alright. There we go, I created that redstone clock. I am now going to create the back wrestling system. I am now going to use this farm to use it. All you need to do is flick this lever up, then flick this lever up as well. As you guys can see here, the farm is now instantly producing kelp. All the kelp is then found into those composters, and those composters convert all that kelp into bone meal. The resulting bone meal is then found into this collection's chest. By the way, if you guys make this farm and it does not work for you, I recommend you try flicking the lever down, then flicking it back up again. You may need to do that a few times in order to get this farm to work. Also, make sure you do not make this farm on a chunk border. To turn this farm off, all you need to do is flip each of these levers down. As you guys can see here, this farm quickly produces a bunch of bone meal. If you guys want to learn how to make a simpler version of this bone meal farm, I recommend you guys check out my easy 1.18 automatic bone meal farm tutorial. The link to the tutorial will be in the description. By the way, it works on all platforms of Minecraft Barrack Edition. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Multiplayer Minecraft Survival. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share out my other Minecraft videos. I upload multiple times per week. Thanks for watching!